أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وإنا لا رجعون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما دي respected brothers and sisters in Allah Sam حسبنا الله ونعمة وكيل the title of this piece is temple or masjid or mosque place of worship in the Holy Quran and in the Kitab. I'm going to present to you a series of logical steps and support those logical steps with verses of the scripture, the Holy Quran and the Kitab. I hope you enjoy this. One, if the messenger equals a lamp spreading light, O Prophet, truly we have sent thee as a witness, a bearer of glad tidings, and a warner, and as one who invites to Allah's grace by his leave, and as a lamp spreading light. Wasirajan Muniran, Surah 33, Ayats 45 through 46. And two, and the seven lampstands with burning flames equals the seven spirits of God. And from the throne came flashes of lightning and the rumble of thunder. And in front of the throne were seven lampstands with burning flames. They are the seven spirits of God. Revelations 4, 5. And three, and the seven lampstands equals the seven temples. This is the meaning of the seven stars you saw in my right hand and the seven gold lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven temples and the seven lampstands are the seven temples. Revelations 1, 20. And four, and the word equals a lamp. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. Then Jesus asked him, would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed to shut out the light? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will shine. Everything that is now hidden or secret will eventually be brought to light. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand and be sure to pay attention to what you hear. The more you do this, the more you will understand and even more besides. To those who are open to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But to those who are not listening, even what they have will be taken away from them. Mark 4, 21 through 25. And six, and the messenger equals the spirit of God. And that equal be or is strengthened with the spirit of Allah. We gave Moses the book and followed him up with the succession of messengers. We gave Jesus the son of Mary clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Is it that whenever there comes to you a messenger with what ye yourselves desire not, ye are puffed up with pride, some ye call impostors, and others ye slay? Surah 2, Ayat 87. And 7, and the messenger equals the temple. I tell you, there is one here who is even greater than the temple. Matthew 12, 6. No temple could be seen in the city, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Revelations 21:22. The stone rejected by the builders has now become the cornerstone. Psalm 118:22. And eight, and the messenger equals the word or kalima. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word. From him, his name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter and of the company of those nearest to Allah, al muqarribin Surah 3, Ayat 45. And also, Muhammad wasallam was known as the Quran walking. And nine, and the word equals the messenger. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word. From him, his name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter and of the company of those nearest to Allah, al muqarribin Surah 3, Ayat 45. And also, Muhammad sallallahu was known as the Quran walking. And 10, and the word equals the spirit of Allah. Say, the Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from the Lord in truth in order to strengthen those who believe and as a guide and glad tidings to Muslims. Surah 16, Ayat 102. And 11, and the word equals a lamp. 
And thus have we by our commands sent inspiration to thee, thou knowest not before what was revelation and what was faith, but we have made the Qur'an a light, wherewith we guide such of our servants as we will, and verily thou dost guide men to the straight way. وَكَذَلِّكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكُ رُحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَنْ تَتْرِي كُنْتَ تَتْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَيْ الْإِمَانُ وَلَكِنْ جَأَنَّهُ نُورًا نَحْتِ بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءٌ مِنْ إِنْدِنَا وَإِنَّكَ لَتَسْتِيَا إِلَيْ سِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ سِرَاتِ أَلَاهِ أَرْلَدِ اللَّهُ مَا فِي أَلْسَمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي إِرْآدِهِ أَلَيْ إِلَيْ أَلَاهِ تَسْسِرُ الْأُمُورِ Surah Allah al Surah 42, Ayats 52-53 Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105 and again, Mark 4, 21 through 25. Then Jesus asked him, Would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed to shut out the light? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will shine, so on and so forth. Don't hide your light under a basket. Instead, put it on a stand and let it shine for all. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone would praise your heavenly Lord. Matthew 5:15, and to that I would like to say uh, perhaps the basket represents your work and labors as a means of livelihood and perhaps the stand means a place of worship, temple, masjid or house for Allah and perhaps the bed represents your luxuries, pleasures, abode and life. Then 12, then the word equals the temple. Verily, he who ordained the Qur'an for thee will bring thee back to the place of return. Say, my Lord knows best who it is that brings true guidance and who is in the manifest error. Inna erladeen farrada aylaka al-Qur'an laraduka al-ilay ma'idin kul rabbiya allamun man ja'a bilhuday wa man hawad fi dolalin mubin. Surah 28, Ayat 85. Hear the word place of return is a title of Mecca, one, to the occasion when we shall be restored to the presence of our Lord. It is said that this verse was revealed at Juhfa, on the road from Mecca to Medina, a short distance from Mecca on the Hijra journey. The Prophet was sad at heart and this was given as consolation to him. If this was the particular occasion, the general meaning would refer the place of return to the occasion of the resurrection when all true values will be restored. However, they may be disturbed by the temporary interference of evil in this life. So this is referring to not just the temple, but the place of return in the hereafter. And I'm referring to the temple or the masjid as the temple, somewhat erroneously, but it's literally masjid but I'm also using the in English connotation of temple. Appendix 10, section 11, quote unquote, the 350 idols established by the pagans in the Kaaba probably represented the 360 days of an inaccurate solar year, unquote. This was after the house was built and sanctified by Ibrahim and Ishmael for its original purpose, the worship of Allah. Holy Quran 2226 reads, Behold, we gave the sight to Ibrahim of the sacred house, saying, Associate not anything in worship with me, and sanctify my house for those who come to sit round, or stand up, or bow, or prostrate themselves therein in prayer. Surah 22, Ayat 26. Obviously, the word was not there at the time of this paganism at the Kaaba, and so the temple wasn't there either, though one could see it physically. In reality, it was not because the Kalima was not there. And this alludes to the Sachina or Sakina that hovered over the Ark of the Covenant in Ezekiel 8 that departs at Ezekiel 10 due to the idol altar that had been erected in a room right next to where the Ark of the Covenant was stored with only a wall between their idol altar 